how much of an influence did you have in casting, if at all? Did you uh, see the guys beforehand? Were you there to say, okay, I like his, I like the cut of his did jib? He have to and and, did, and were, was there any talk of you auditioning, or do you just go into these things as a consultant, knowing that at some point in time you're going to be in front of the camera? Um, well, as for the guys, both in Band of Brothers and in uh, the Pacific. Um, I'm rarely consulted on casting unless there's some specific thing they want to know about what I'm going to do and whether or not a, a youngster is capable of doing it and so on and so forth. Meg Lieberman is our is our casting director for both projects and Meg is uh, is a is probably the best casting director I know of in Hollywood and I think I know all of them. She's just uh, brilliant at, at this casting stuff so I don't get worried about it. I, she's gonna send me great material. Um, that said, they they don't often call me and say, "What do you think of this guy?" Because because they know what I'm going to say. Ah, he's a shitbird. Send it to me. I'll fix it. You know? Right. Um, but um, as for me, uh, I really really wanted to be in the Pacific, um, and I I whined a little bit uh, to see if they would let me go. Uh, but the producers in HBO just thought that uh, I was so familiar uh, to audiences as Colonel Sink and Band of Brothers, that if they brought me out as um, uh, General Vandegrift uh, or, or somebody in, uh, in the Pacific, that uh, it, would, it would cause you know, that cognitive disconnect and people, oh, well, how the hell can Sink be over here in the 1st Marine Division? So, um, although it, it kind of broke my heart a little bit because I, I wanted to kind of do my little turn uh, on camera in this one, um, I, had to, uh, I had to say, okay, I get it and, uh, and carry on. Well, and, and I wish they would have let you do that because I can't count how many times uh, in other areas of the, uh, the the film industry that you see something like that. One of the ones that sticks out the most in my mind uh, is Colonel Potter. Uh, the, the guy who played Colonel Potter in MASH was actually in an earlier sure. episode as an insane lieutenant colonel. Uh, I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, Henry Morgan. Yeah, yeah. right. Harry, H Harry Morgan. Sure. Henry Morgan, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he played uh, a completely Mark, yeah. different guy, and then he gets to be Colonel Potter like uh, six episodes later. You're like, what the hell happened there? Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, and and I that's kind of my feeling. I mean, look, you know, uh, I'm an actor. I can I can handle this. I can change. I can fool people. Don't worry about it. You know, they'll accept me. <laughs> um, but I, I tell you, in all honesty, sometimes you 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 get a persona, or you get typecast. Uh, and I'm certainly in that regard. Um, I did have a question from Laura in the UK. She wanted to know, um, upon first meeting the men, uh, did you sense any fear in their eyes towards you? Absolutely. <laughs> um, and, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. <laughs> um, yeah, look, we all fear the unknown. And um, add to the unknown the fact that I have a reputation as being a mean, horrible bastard when I'm training them, you know, absolutely unswerving and, and demanding. Uh, actors talk to each other, and they knew what was coming. So when they saw me march up in full uniform with, you know, uh, spit shine Cochran's and, and looking like the, the absolutely strapped professional soldier, <laughs> I, think, I think there is a, a, a fear that runs through them, oh my God, here we go. Uh, but that's, that, that works for me, that's handy. Um, that, that makes them open up right away. Uh, I can use that fear, and it's really more uncertainty than it is physical fear. Um, and, and that's valuable to me uh, because I can use it to judge when I've got a hold of them. When I finally get them past that point where the fear disappears from their eyes, then I know that they're learning and uh, that what we're doing is, is, uh, is accomplishing what it's designed to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. And I also have uh, Suzanne in London. Uh, she wanted to know if you have any acting lined up. Yes. I just finished uh, a, a film called Larry Crown with uh, Tom Hanks. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I play his boss and get to fire him in that one. Oh, nice. Um, and, and I'm in uh, Steven Spielberg's new um, uh, science fiction series called Falling Skies. I play the leader of the human resistance after Earth is uh, invaded by aliens. And uh, I'm about to start um, next week. I'm going up and start a movie um, 
uh, which in which I get to kill a bunch of zombies. I'm going to do a military versus the zombies movie. Nice. Um, yeah. So so yeah, the acting the acting comes along. Uh, they still call me back on Entourage every once in a while. Uh, it'll be the fight for the Lafayette Bridgehead and Causeway, um, which was vital. It was captured and taken and held by the 82nd Airborne Division uh, on D-Day and held for three days while the Germans tried to take the bridge and destroy it so that the troops coming out of Utah uh, on D-Day wouldn't have any way to cross the Murderette River and make the, the uh, right turn up to uh, Sherborne. So had the, had the 82nd not held, um, D-Day would have worked, uh, or uh, the landings would have worked, but then the move inland would would never have been able to be made. It's a great story, wow. um, and um, uh, so uh, I'm going to take my my uh, first feature directing debut in that one, and um, we'll start on it. Um, well, we go into into pre production uh, in January, and I'll shoot in uh, April May. Now, is this uh, is this uh, made for uh, HBO or is this a regular old fashioned? No, nope. nope. feature film. Feature film. That's awesome. <laughs> what what I want to do, if if you're talking about uh, miniseries um, or series on HBO, yeah. um, I'm gonna I want to to move from World War II to Korea now. Mm. I I really want to do something on Korea before those veterans start dropping off the end of the earth like the World War II guys are doing, and. <clears throat> We have a perfect opportunity to do it. Uh, I would take maybe the 1st Marine Division or, or one company of the 1st Marine Division and go from, say, Incheon uh, to the turn north up through the uh, Chosun Reservoir and then the evacuation down to Ham Hung. Uh, that would make a, a great series, and I hope we have a chance to get it done.